Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, um, whatever time it is that you might be watching this. Um, I'm so excited to be back with you guys today sharing this little devotional. So before we go ahead and start, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you and we want to thank you for this day you let us all wake up to. I want to thank you for this time that we're going to have together in your word, Lord. I ask that you would just take away any distractions that we might be having at the moment and that our hearts and our minds would just be focused on you and you only, Lord. I ask that um, you give me the right words to speak and your words only, Lord. We love you so much and we praise you. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, well, as I said, hello, everyone. I'm very excited to be back with you guys today and sharing this little devotional. Um, I'm hoping that maybe you guys will um, relate to this in some way or form in your daily lives. Um, I don't know about you, but I, I feel like this year has gone by so fast already. Uh, we're already done with March practically. So, But um, let's go ahead and um, dive right in. So we're going to be in Psalm 95, 1 through 3. And I'm sure most of us have read a few chapters of the Psalms or you've read maybe all of them or even memorized a few, which is amazing. So in this Psalm, it's talking about worshiping our amazing God and giving honor and glory to a glorious King. Okay, so let's go ahead and read it together starting in verse 1. It says, O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a king above all gods. So what an amazing couple verses. So in verse 1 where it says, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise. We probably automatically think of a worship song, right? A worship song that honors God. And so we do that in a community as we would do in our church on Sunday mornings, on Wednesdays, um, any Bible studies that we might be going to during the week, um, our congregation coming together and worshiping God. So singing isn't the only way that we give glory, um, give glory and honor to worship God, but it should be the most important and chief way. So when we sing, we're expressing our joy okay, as a Christian, and giving thanks to him and um, thanking him for all he's done for us. So I know that when I get to church and I sit down and the announcements are done and then I start to see the lights dim, I know that the Holy Spirit's going to just overtake my body and, you know, prepare me for the lesson that I'm going to hear after this. And when I worship, I just get all these emotions and it doesn't even matter what song it could be and I start crying for some reason, but they're tears of joy because I'm so happy to be at church and to learn about him and worship him and thank him for everything. So um, in verse two, it says, let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. When it says, let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, we're to come with praise and thankfulness because he is our God. You know, and so it says, let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. This means that God should be honored with a happy, enthusiastic heart, a joyful heart. We should be worshiping him with a thankful heart and praising him and thanking him for all he has done for us. Because he is our God. He's such an amazing God. So in verse 3, it says, for the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. The Lord is such a great God, and he is and is continuing to work miracles in our lives. He died on the cross for us. He is forgiving. He is loving. He loves us unconditionally. And so what better way to thank him than praising him and worshiping him, right? So we are his children. He keeps us safe, and he wants us to know that no matter what. And so and for that, we should be worshiping him and giving thanks in our hearts. So... As we come to an end, I know that all of us have rough days. We have tough days, whether it be a long day at work or just a long day out in the public and you just want to get home. And um, most of you guys have kids. And so if your kids are driving you kind of crazy and you just you want a moment to yourself and you finally get into the car. Um, I know after work, sometimes when I get into the car and had a rough day, um, I turn the radio on and I just 
I lose it. The song, if there's a song that plays all the time um, when I'm feeling down and it feels like it's that's my song. God is speaking to me. And so he's definitely speaking to us. Um, and it could be in many ways. My way is just the radio. I know it happens to a lot of you. Um, but it, I take it as he's telling us to not worry, that he's here for us. He loves us. and He's here to protect us from our trials um, if we're going through any. So I know I personally feel instant joy and peace and comfort when I hear um, that one song that could just take away all my worries, that worship song, you know, and so, and some of us, we even crank the radio up really high and we start belting out that song. That's my way of just telling the world, you know what, I have a God that loves me and there's nothing that you can do to get in the way. And so what if someone on the street sees me cranking out on my radio and, um, <laughs> just screaming the worship song. I know that he loves me and that's, he put that song on the radio just for me to tell me that he's with, with me right there. And so um, next time when you're singing a worship song, I want you to remember, I have a God who loves and protects me. So I'm going to sing a joyful noise to thank him. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I wanna thank you again for this beautiful day. I wanna thank you for this time we had together in your word, Lord. I ask that when we do hear a song on the radio um, glorifying you, Lord, that we would just remember that you love us and you protect us from any trials we might be going through, Lord. And um, I ask that you bless us throughout this week, Lord, and if we're having any issues, that um, you would just speak to us in any way, Lord, and that we, we know that you're there. And we love you and we praise you. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, bye guys. I hope to see you guys next time.